Happy New Moon in Taurus, my loves. It's Michelle Divine's Purpose. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, what is popping? Y'all, I ain't going to play with you. I'm drinking some silk chocolate milk, and I feel like I'm drinking some shit that makes me high. I'm high tonight. Of what? We will see. Um, <laughs> so, welcome, and let's get it started through the motion of this new moon energy in Taurus. First of all, intentions. Set your intentions. Write them down if you must. Please understand that this is a very, very magical energy for physical things. And y'all know my ass wants to save money. But listen, money is an energy. So, you know, love is the new money. So when I speak about money, don't think of it as just, you know, dollar dollar bills, y'all, dollar dollar bills. Nah, man, I'm also talking about the energy. So ground it, bring it to this plane and surround yourself with the lusciousness of it. Amen. Don't let your past hold you back, your self node. Ooh, yes, I like it and I'll tell you why. Because the self node is about your past. These are your past lives. You know, some people are being actually triggered through the motion of this very hard right now. Um, but, however, First of all, you know, so I still feel like we're in Aries season. I don't know what's up with Taurus. I don't know if y'all are feeling Taurus season. People are like, oh, you're going to be resting. I haven't rested yet. So I don't know what is happening. I just have to say that. Um, but don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back. It's straight. No chaser on that one. Let me get another one. Oh, when I told you I was felt like I was high. Oh, yeah, she's high. How high? How did I get touch this guy? How stiff? Step it up, I can suck your... Mm, okay. Anyways, confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Okay. So, some of y'all may be lacking some confidence. And this is the past life motion of understanding that the healing had to take place through that. What does that look like? One, low self-worth. Two, not enough self-love. Three, Oh, ego, duh, as you got out. But, you know, people always say, you know, yo, you are cocky or you are too confident. Please sit down. I'm like, eh, excuse me? Like, you know when someone says that or projects that energy on you through the motion of your light is shining too bright that it's actually making them insecure? Whatever that is. That ain't going to fly no more. This is the new energy. So the new energy is really about Love is the new muncy hunsy. So let's high it up. High frequency only. So the thing is, it's like that Leo energy. Y'all know that lion energy, right? Beautiful mane, I'm the lion. It's understanding that the lion really does lead through the motion of the heart. Um, you can be the most majestic, sexy-ass lion in the jungle. By the way, you can call me if you are, I'm just saying. Uh, but it doesn't matter because that's just all you know, the outside. The true confidence comes through through the heart, where the love is. And the thing is, some of y'all have to understand that, you know, don't let your past hold you back. Don't let the past lives hold you back. That's what I'm picking up very strongly over here, all right? So let me get into the um, energy oracle cards to get some physicality in here. And uh, let's see what we have going on. I just hear... Um, <laughs> a woman with a woman with a woman with oh wow this just is fantastic okay angel of strength there's the lion again so funny the leo energy right and taurus season two what all right yes this will require much strength um but again, 
<laughs> okay, thank you. Again, it's not the size. It's not the physicality. It's not the size of your arms. I mean, how tall you are. You know, it's not how big you be flexing that dick muscle, Huntsy, okay? It's all about your heart. Um, and please excuse me. I'm not speaking about men. I, you know, women have dick muscles too. Can we get an amen for the church? Amen, shit. Um, but that's the confidence, right? That's that egotistical, cocky, I got a big ego with energy. But... When you actually partner up with your ego and you step into this, strength, my love, strength. And the angel of strength is with you. I believe that this came through in the 555 portal. That's what I'm feeling. Yes, thank you, Lord Jesus. Victory, because victory will be yours. You're getting crowned, you know? And the thing is, this new moon in Taurus will really showcase you what the crown is. I do believe that the crown is the representation of the divinity, of course, first and foremost. But I also believe it's the understanding of, you know, again, money. And I, I'm going to keep saying money, you know, as much as I need to say it. Because some people in the spiritual community get triggered by money. Why? You know, money is an energy. You have to, you know, if you don't believe in money, then how do you believe in anything else? It's like everything is energy, but it's all about your attentions behind it. You know, what is your attention behind money? Is it to flex? Is it to be like, look at me, I got the biggest dick in the land? Or is it through the motion of what you truly desire with the plants you are, the, excuse me, the seed you are planting in this new moon in Taurus? See, you know, for me, if I shared with you what my actual goals were, y'all would be like, Michelle, you really are a fucking mission. Like, shit. Like, because <laughs> it's all about you guys. It's all about giving back. Um, obviously, you know, I'm not that divine feminine who, like, you know, doesn't shave and she sh sits on, on the beach all day and, you know, all that natural beauty, which I totally admire, by the way. I just am not like that. I have a little bit more, you know, diva energy into me. Um, but taking care of myself is one thing, but when it comes to money and building that foundation, what are you building it for? Is it for mission? Is it with God? Is it with the Holy Divine Mother, however you want to call it? Is it that trilogy energy, or is it all about you and what you desire with through the lower desires? You know, I believe that this new moon in Taurus will really showcase that as well through the motion of ching ching pass me the money yes um that just flew out with multiple cards but it's understanding number 31 you know 31 that can be an age that can be a date that can equal a four so you know you have to understand here that the door to value is upon us and the thing is this is not the new moon that you're going to try to be in your lack mentality dream fucking big if you had a dream yesterday make it fucking bigger today make it as big as you possibly can and may the money just drop upon you remember money is energy i'm using it as love fulfill it just put yourself in a place where you feel that is heaven on earth and just just feel the grace of God bless you with all of the freedom that you desire for you, your family, your soul family, and blessings be upon the homeless people that might need it as well. You know what I'm saying? So, that's dope. Appreciation appreciation and look at this can she be any more royale like honestly like is this a queen or what um appreciate what you have this is beautiful because a lot of people talk about manifestation and the simplest rule in manifestation is to be grateful for what you have because everything else is a gift and the reason why I share that is because what you have, no amount of money can buy. That's why I say to you, money is energy. It's like love. Because the thing is, you could talk about money all day and you can be, you know, making a rain up in here for sure with any type of money, with any currency. Hopefully it's euro. Um, there's probably even better currency out there. But you can give me some rubies if you desire to and some gold. 
and they take me to um, the depths of the desert and we can go find ourselves a little magic carpet and we'll continue our evening from there, yes? Um, but it's understanding that, you know, everything that you truly need is through the motion of your heart, your intuition, the gifts that God gave you, the vision, you know, your wisdom, and everything else is a blessing. You're not replaceable. I don't give a shit if you think robots are taking over the world, which they already are. Like, hello, I am on my device, which is a robot. Um, but you're, you're not replaceable, especially if you've already awakened and tapped into your divine path. Gratitude. And right when I saw Cartouche, the divine names of power. Did I say that right? Yes, I did. Could you imagine if we can all go to Egypt and go into a pyramid, whatever, which one you desire to go to, okay, whatever. And you have this memory of you stamping your name on a wall through the motion of symbolism. And you knew then, let's say, they are telling me 7,000 years ago, okay, we'll go with that number, 7,000 years ago, that you'd be back at this exact moment in time to recreate what you need to recreate for mission. Now that, no amount of money can buy, right? Come on. All right, y'all. So let me finish off with some gods and goddesses as it's a consciousness, and you know how we do it up in here. So shall we start with gods or goddess? We'll start with gods. So let's see what god energy is coming through for this new moon in Taurus. Thank you guys so much, by the way. I hope you're rolling with me. I hope that it's entertaining, but I hope it's also understanding that every new moon is an opportunity for a new cycle to begin. And I really do pray that a lot of you really free yourself up through the motion of money. Because you're going to need to. Everything that I have coming out of my tongue, rolling out of my tongue, rolling out of it, is because there's other things that I haven't revealed yet. And it's always a preparation. If you believe it or not, like I said earlier today on the gram, that's up to you. Truth or truth. Sometimes y'all are just too stubborn. Y'all got to wait and see until it happens to you, right? All right. Green man abundance. Yes, honey. Give me the green man. Make him abundant. Listen. I am telling you guys, this new moon in Taurus has to do with abundance, freedom, money. Strength is coming through too. Confidence. Yes. Nothing is more confident. That agree, man. <laughs> I am telling you right now, I feel like I'm high. I hope you guys can see the cards because it's getting dark up in here. I gotta finish off because I ain't putting no lights on. I'm enjoying the flow. I'm just missing some good music, but whatever. One more, please. Ooh, Jade the Emperor. Yes, organization. Ooh, he is just really focused. Um, Jade, not a color. Green and jades. This is very Asian inspired. Welcome to the East. Emperor, Aries energy. And didn't I just say yes? Didn't I say that it still feels like Aries? I feel like the Emperor is still upon us. And no, the Emperor ain't naked. And if he is, he'd be green, honey, okay? <laughs> Surprise! Um... Yeah, I feel like there is a lot of this masculine energy that's projecting within all of us. Because masculine is an energy. It's like, where are we really preparing our future? Where is this abundance? What is the seed we are planting? What is the mission? It's like all of these beautiful open-ended questions. Y'all know, if you don't know about this about me, that's like, that turns me on. Like, let's talk about it. Because it's like, you know, it's the motion of, Giving yourself permission to dream. Like when I say to you, like you had a dream yesterday, well shit, make it bigger today. 
give yourself permission to dream and when you do that allow the masculine energy to come through and just bless it through the motion of love through the motion of love all right let's finish off with goddess and uh y'all know what's up i'm about to shut it off <laughs> um but it's been beautiful you know it's like the only thing i can say very strongly in this energy is don't let the past hold you back like that's obviously duh like it's called ascension it's not descension you know what i mean like y'all know how i do it's like it's ascension so you want to level up so if you're still you know in that self you know energy then y'all need to when i make sounds like that i don't want to say what i gotta say oh look at this persephone cycles y'all need to stop being a persephone persephone Pesophone, per 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 pesophone. All I'm thinking about is Miss Lady Andy. She would kill me right now. <laughs> if you're watching, boo, listen. Okay? Some people are blessed with you and your roadkill abilities. Okay? Um, get out of it. You have a free will to get out of it. You can choose love. You don't have to be in this energy at all times. Self self mode get out of the cycle oh i'm about to say something shady are you gonna do not today new moon new moon new energy new me <laughs> lilith equality and there it is it's an understanding of you know the masculine and feminine during this new moon in Taurus. And it's so true, you know, Lilith is such a beautiful energy to work with. I love working with Lilith. Um, because you know what, when I think of Lilith, I think of a divine conscious being, you know, and when I think of Adam and Eve, I think of broken consciousness. And I think it's amazing, amazing, because I've done my past life healing, obviously. I think it's amazing how, History has ridden her up to be a demon because of that. So it's a reflection of what the world is so afraid of when you are a higher, higher conscious being because they can't control you anymore. And this whole new moon in Taurus is about freedom, liberty, you know, and it's about the money part of it too, the banking systems, the government and so forth. And the thing is, it's like when you are a higher conscious being, they're gonna demonize you for that? Psh, child, please, you are not the right energy to do that because the thing is we're back and not only that we're back we remember and we remember all of it y'all I don't know if you feel in this but I feel so blessed because I don't care how much pain my body is in I don't care sometimes how heavy the energy is it's the understanding of, oh, damn, I remember being there. I remember being here. I remember being that. I remember doing this. And I'm still here. Why? Legacy. Ah. How bad? Divine means of power. No amount of money can take what you have within remember who the fuck you are. It's graduation time. I love you. Ooh, it's so like moody and just like, ah. Okay, I gotta go. I love you guys so much. Happy new moon in Paris. Um, I can't see where my mouse is, so I have to keep talking. There it is. Okay, love you guys. Happy new moon.